So back in 2020, when the pandemic first started, I started doing live streams on YouTube to help support students who are working from home. Now, as part of this, what I did was I came up with some worksheets that I could work through in these live streams, which I've now put onto my GCSE website, GCSE Physics Online, and you can access all of these worksheets and the answers through the website. However, I've also been dabbling a bit with some books. For example, I've got this one here. Uh, this is at my GCSE Physics exam revision notebook, and this will help structure your revision as you're revising for any exams that you might have coming up. So it's got different sections, all of which are supported with extra videos that you can find by scanning the QR code. Now you can buy that on Amazon. I've also got a book, which is my A-level GCS, sorry, my AQA GCSE Physics Revision Guide. Now this one is a free digital download that you can access over at GCSE Physics Online and you can just download it. Um, and then this has all the revision notes that you need uh, to help structure revision, including a whole section about past papers. So this is really a guide to revision. Now that's just a digital download only, but I now have my new book. This is my GCSE Physics workbook. Um, and what I have is a collection of all of the worksheets on my website. And the idea with this is that it means that you can work through it and keep everything in one space. So looking at the book, um, these are all of the, the worksheets, all of the different topics that I cover. And what I tend to do is I colour code things. So you might notice that um, any videos I have about energy have like this orange color anything to do with forces i have this blue color and so on so i try and like kind of color code it um, and that's the list of everything in this book i've also got how to use the book which is pretty simple um, answer the questions but the other thing i suppose about it is that um, in addition to having the questions in this book which everything is kept in one nice tidy place so you can always find it um, there are also links to extra support. So if I just choose one of these, uh, this one is about energy resources. Um, now there's a QR code at the top that you can just scan with your phone and it takes you directly to the website. Or you can go on your PC or your laptop or your iPad or whatever you might have. You can type in the URL at the bottom and this will give you extra videos that support all of the questions here. So if there's one that you're stuck on, you can watch a video and that will help explain it. The other thing that I have on the on that actual page is again a set of digital answers that you can look at and also there's a video where I actually explain my approach to these questions. So you can work through this completely independently on your own and if you get stuck there's some videos that I've made to help support you. Now you can see inside the book um, there is a huge amount of amount of questions okay um, I think there's about 60 or 70 uh, different topics covered um, and at the end of the book I've also got some answers now these answer sheets um, they are quite small but it does mean that you can see a full work solution including the answer that you can use to help mark your work now if you do find that a little bit small again of course you can find the answers even bigger and you can print them out if you want or you can just save them on your device um, and you can find that by scanning the QR code or just going to the website link at the bottom. So that is how the book works. And there's a lot here. And the reason uh, that I did it in colour is just to make it, you know, nice and bright and colourful and a little bit more interesting than some of the other workbooks which are out there. I suppose the other thing about this book is I've made it uh, suitable for all exam boards. And it doesn't matter if you're doing the double science or the combined science or trilogy or you're doing the full physics, or sometimes called triple science or separate, um, I've made it just a set of GCSE questions. And what I'd advise you to do is, if you know your exam board that you're sitting, and the exam that you've got coming up, you'll have your specification, and that will say exactly which topics you need to know about. So if you find a question in here that maybe doesn't correspond to something you've done in school, it might be that that question, you don't need to be doing it. So it is worth doing this alongside uh, using your, um, I suppose, your exam board specification, so you're covering the right content. However, 99% of this is going to be suitable for most people. Finally, if you want to buy a copy, uh, you can do so on Amazon. Uh, it's £9.99, where the majority of that money goes into actually paying for the printing of this coloured book. If, however, you want to save yourself a couple of pounds, I also have a black and white edition. Uh, this one is £7.99, so it's a little bit cheaper. You still get, um, I think it's about 180 pages 
of uh, of book inside so it's well worth the money and it's i think it's pretty good value but this black and white one obviously doesn't have everything in color so it's up to you uh, which one you choose to buy if you if you get it um but i think the reason i did it like this was i really want to help um encourage students uh, in maybe some of the easier skills that they're going to be assessed on and that's often on the page on the left hand side and also push them a little bit more so if you're wanting to improve your grade, if you're aiming for those grades sevens, eights and nines and thinking about A-level physics, then it's worth getting the book. And if you are thinking about A-level physics, after you've done your GCSEs, I do have this A-level physics daily workout. And this one um, starts in July, just after you've finished your GCSE exams. And there is a question every day over the summer holidays, if you want to do it, um, that will then help prepare you for A-level physics in September. Um, and this is just the first of six workbooks. Again, you can find that over on Amazon. So that is uh, my GCSE physics workbook, um, worth having a look at. And if you want to buy it, uh, you can just order it from Amazon. Thank you.